Oh. Hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to Jake's Corner. Hey, what's up? And welcome to Jake's Corner. Uh, this is a new little uh, show that we're doing on on Jake and Hank. It's basically just going to be me talking, doing video game reviews slash talking about dumb shit related to video games. Today, we figured for our first episode, we would talk about... I would... We... Today, we're going to talk about... I'm going <laughs> to... Today, I'm going to talk about... <laughs> <laughs> Bad childhood games. PS2 was the first console I ever owned. I had a, I had a lot of games for it, a lot of which I never, I either never really played or didn't really get far into. Mostly because they were fucking garbage. So I figured for this starting episode of Jake's Corner, I could talk about a few of them. Some of them that I've beaten all the way through. Some of which I haven't, and some of which are just. Like, fucking why? The first game that I'm going to talk about is Up for the PlayStation 2, based on Up for the PlayStation 2. It's so stupid. You play as Old Man Carl and Russell Boy, and it, it just follows the plot of the movie, except with, you know video game stuff to drag out the runtime. Neither of them can really attack, like you have to fight enemies, but they don't really attack. What Carl does, the old guy, what he does is he uses his hearing aid to push enemies back. And I don't even fucking remember what Russell attacks with. I haven't played this game in ages. Um, because it's not good. There are some licensed Disney games that are good, like Wally for the PlayStation 2, based on Wally for the PlayStation. Like, that game is good. I haven't beaten it all the way, but that game is not bad at all. But this is just so poorly done and and lazy and... Oh, oh, shit. There's a part where you can fly around as the dogs and, like, kill people. I didn't even know about it. Because I didn't get that far because the game's stupid. And there's two player. I didn't know... Oh, well, I didn't have friends when I was a kid, so that makes sense. Anyway. Yeah, so... Like, this, it's not good. I would play it a lot, but I only got, like, maybe, like, a the halfway through the game. So, yeah. Anyway, so. Next game. Madagascar for the PlayStation 2. Based on I can't <laughs> this game is also garbage, but I have beaten it all the way through and I loved playing it as a child. Each level you play as one of the different animals. You go around and you get different moves for them, but there is one level in, in this game. I just put it down. I don't know why I put it down. There's one level in this game that is incredible. And it's the one when you play as the penguins. <laughs> That shit was phenomenal, dude. You don't even play as the penguins. You play as one penguin, and he goes around on the ship. Because it's, it's basically when all the animals get shipped to, like, San Diego or something, the penguins take control. There's, spoiler, spoilers for Madagascar in case you haven't seen a fucking... When did this movie come out? I don't know. It's a video game. Someone, lo someone look up when Madagascar came out. Someone look up when Madagascar became a country. So in case you haven't seen the movie Madagascar from 2005 based on the country Madagascar established in 1960. Spoilers. Fucking idiot. The, bang the penguins basically take, away the, the sh take over the ship. And that level that you play as the penguins is them taking over the ship. And it's the best fucking thing. Because you play as Skipper, the leader, and he goes around like fucking taking out guys collecting keys fucking and it's it's so good i don't like i can't i can't properly explain why it it's so good it's really just just magical the, the game isn't good there's escort missions there's fuck there's escort missions so you know it's not good looking at it like again like lo looking at it today 
garbo. But, but I will still like enjoy playing it if I go back to it just because like this is what I grew up playing. Shitty licensed movies. Ga wait, shitty licensed movie games. Yeah. Next game! <laughs> Rayman Raving Rabbids. So for those of you that aren't aware, this is where it began. This game was the start of the Rabbids. <laughs> <laughs> so the plot of this game is that Rayman gets fucking like kidnapped or some shit while he's having a picnic with with glow box and his glow babies that's a fucking stupid name i think that might be the actual canon name why am i talking about the rayman canon God, rayman, what happened to you? anyway so rayman gets kidnapped by the fucking rabbit guys and they're like all right you are a prisoner now they don't speak english obviously they're just speaking all right, you're gonna do g pointless, stupid mini games for us. <laughs> so the game is basically just a bunch of mini games, and you have to get the higher score, otherwise you don't get. Like, there's a dance mini game that's like, th like press this button when this rabbit comes to this thing, press that button when that. It's stupid. You have to throw cows. What? After every like day of mini games, they give you a plunger because they're fucking. I don't know why they like plungers so much. It's fucking stupid. Rayman and he's like in a jail cell, like underground, and you. He basically attaches each plunger that he gets to the wall because way way high up there's a window that he can get out of. So he uses so he attaches a. Pl no, not in here, you fucking stupid camera. So he uses the plungers to, you know, try and climb out. And as he, like, d stop pointing at the ceiling! Oh my god! And as you keep uh, keep going through the mini games, like, the rabbits start to, like, have more respect for you. Like, there's this big fucking one that takes you to and from the arena every day. As the game goes on, they have more respect for you. And your cell gets all, like, fucking pimped out and shit. When the guy comes, he's like... To, and, like, lets you go. It's kind of charming, but... It's also rabbits. Okay, so I never finished this game either. I got like maybe halfway up the the plunger. I <laughs> Every once in a while it would lead up to like a game where it was basically a first person shooter and you had to keep shooting rabbits with plungers. And once you got to the end of those, it would like mark the end of a section and you would get a pimp up for your cell and whatnot. And I never finished this game because there's one that's so like it's so fucking hard to do i can't even like each one's like themed differently and i remember the last one i think it was like an underground minecart or something it was so fucking ridiculous my like, god and you can customize you can you is there is there something wrong with my knee I fucking hate that game so much. Next game. Last, but certainly not least. Thrillville Off the Rails. So this this is a sequel to the game Thrillville, which I also have. Basically for this game, you choose a guy or girl of indeterminate, hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Give me the right one. How the fuck did I do that? <laughs> wow, that's... No. 
So you would choose a child, teenager, or adult of male or female gender. And then this old crazy guy, he's kind of like a, it was almost like a parody of Doc Brown, but instead of being obsessed with time travel, he just made theme parks. He made five theme parks. I need to stop putting mic heads in my mouth. You would basically be in charge of uh, like a bunch of theme parks and you could go between them. You would have to like do stuff in one park to unlock the next and so on and so forth. Honestly, this one really wasn't that bad. I have a lot of good memories with this game and the other one. Basically, you would be able to play the mini games. <laughs> Um, you could talk to people in the parks, you could, like, have relationships if you weren't a child. Could you have relationships if you were a child? Oh, no. And you would do quests to, like, ensure that each park succeeds. Like, you would talk to, like, critics and win them over by... It was kind of stupid. You would bribe critics into giving good reviews for your park like one of them you would have to like give them like a teddy bear because you could play mini games and get sideshow prizes Do you i'm gonna have motion sickness but the one thing that i was never good at was creating the roller coasters in a in a theme park game. I'm probably still not good at making roller coasters. It just didn't, it wasn't like a thing that I was good at, but I love playing this game. So I never ended up beating it because you got to a part where the only way you could possibly succeed or the only way you could possibly move on was either get really, really good at some of those mini games and some of them are fucking hard, dude. Or you would have to build roller coasters and I, could not build the roller coasters. There's also robo boxing. You can also make out with girls. We're out of games. Fuck. So that'll be all for this episode of Jake's Corner. Um, next time we do one of these, it'll probably be like an actual game review. A lot of games that we review are just gonna be like. A lot of the games that I'm probably going to end up reviewing are games that I've had since childhood, um, which I'll, I'll try to look at a jet. Why, why are you getting close to me? Daddy's got chapped lips. <laughs> Next time on Jake's Corner, we'll review a game of indeterminate knowledge. The game doesn't have the knowledge. We don't have the knowledge. <laughs> but uh, that'll be all. Make sure to watch actual Jake and Hank videos because that's all we've put on this channel up to this point. Oh, and the stupid Q&As that, that uh, Hank did. That's right, they were, they were stupid. They were stupid! Bye. Huh? That was so stupid. <laughs>